Will the House come to order? Mr. Clerk. Aloha and good afternoon. Today's invocation will be delivered by Representative Andrew Takuya Garrett. Will the members who wish to participate please rise? All right, good afternoon, friends and colleagues. And now the magic words, please be seated. You know, before I begin, uh, I'd just like to say what an honor it is to be a member of this chamber, especially as one of 18 freshmen that will make up the class of 2023. Us newcomers come from all four corners of the state with diverse backgrounds and very unique experiences. And while we may differ in our ideology and philosophy about how best to move Hawaii forward, I know we understand that public service is a privilege and that we all have the heart to serve. Shortly after the general election, one of my constituents, Mr. Jim Sean, a former member of this body, and who some of you may know is a very passionate education advocate, reached out to me to pass along some advice. He shared with me what are known as the paradoxical commandments. Many of you are likely familiar with these words, which were penned in 1968 by internationally acclaimed author, inspirational speaker, and Manoa resident, Dr. Kent Keith. Amazingly, he wrote this when he was just 20 years old as a college sophomore. Dr. Keith had no idea at the time, but these very words went viral and had a profound impact on people all around the globe. In fact, these words resonated so deeply with a nun in Calcutta, India, that she put these words up on the wall of her orphanage. And of course, that orphanage was run by none other than Mother Teresa. So as we spend the next few months deliberating about how to address the myriad of challenges facing our community, I'd like to share these words as inspiration to help, our, to help guide our important work. So I present to you the Paradoxical Commandments by Dr. Kent Keith. People are illogical, unreasonable, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Do good anyway. If you are successful, you will win false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Honesty and frankness make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyway. The biggest men and women with the biggest ideas can be shot down by the smallest men and women with the smallest minds. Think big anyway. People favor underdogs but follow only top dogs. Fight for a few underdogs anyway. What you spend years building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. People really need help, but may attack you if you do help them. Help people anyway. Give the world the best you have, and you'll get kicked in the teeth. Give the world the best you have anyway. Thank you, members. Thank you, Representative Garrett. Item one. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Mr. Ayu, Mr. Alcos, Ms. Amato. Excuse. Ms. Bilotti, Mr. Chun, Ms. Cochran, Mr. Ganadin, Mr. Garcia, Mr. Garrett, Mr. Gates, Mr. Hashem, Mr. Hashimoto, Mr. Holt, Ms. Hussey Burdick, Ms. Ichiyama, Ms. Kahaloa, Ms. Capella, Mr. Kila, Ms. Kitagawa, Mr. Kobayashi, Mr. Kong, Ms. Lamosao, Ms. Lowen, Ms. Martin, Ms. Martinez, Mr. Matayoshi, Ms. Matsumoto, Mr. Mizuno, Ms. Morikawa, Ms. Nakamura, Mr. Nakashima, Excuse. Mr. Nishimoto, Mr. Onishi, Ms. Peruso, Mr. Pirik, Ms. Poepoe, Mr. Quinlan, Mr. Saiki, Mr. Sayama, Ms. Suza, Mr. Takeyama, Ms. Takenouchi, Mr. Tam, Present. Mr. Tarnas, Present. Mr. Todd, 
Mr. Ward? Mr. Woodson? Excuse. Mr. Yamashita? Mr. Speaker? Present. Mr. Speaker, 46 members are present. Three are excused. Thank you. Item two, reading of the journal. Representative Morikawa. Mr. Speaker, I move we dispense with the reading of the journal of the first to the third days and approve the same as though read throughout. Representative Garcia. Mr. Speaker, second the motion. It has been moved and seconded the journals days one through three be approved. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. All those opposed say no. The motion is carried. Item three, Mr. Clerk, are there messages from the governor? Mr. Speaker, there are none. Item four, Mr. Clerk, are there Senate communications? Mr. Speaker, there are none. Members, introductions. Representative Keela. Thank you, Speaker. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge former Representative Stacey Lynn Eli from the Nanakuli District as she now represents and serves the Department of Hawaiian Homelands as your beneficiary liaison. I stand up in support having to fight Representative Tam and Peruso to do the introduction. But welcome back to your House of Chamber and thank you for continuing and having the heart to serve. Members, any further introductions? Item five, reports of standing committees. Representative Nakamura. Mr. Speaker, I move to adopt standing committee report numbers six through 17 as listed on pages one through four, and that the accompanying house bills as amended pass second reading and be referred to their designated committees. Representative Morikawa. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Any discussion on Stancom Report 6? Seven. Eight. Representative Ward. Speaker, with the reservations, please. So ordered. Representative Garcia. No vote. So ordered. Any further discussion on Stancom Report 8? Nine. Representative Perrick? With reservations, please. So ordered. Moving to Stancom Report 10. Representative Garcia? No vote. So ordered. Speaker. Representative Ward? Uh, reservations, please. So ordered. Representative Perrick? No, please. So ordered. Any other members? Moving to Stancom Report 11. Representative Capella? No vote, please. So ordered. Representative Hussey Bardick? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Noting the concerns of the Department of Consumer. Oh, Representative, your position, thank with you. With reservations. S go, uh, proceed. Just noting the concerns of the Department of Consumer, uh, Commerce and Consumer Affairs uh, that it could potentially lead to rate increases that would negatively impact neighbor islands. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Ganadin? Reservations. So ordered. Any other? <coughs> Representative Peruso? Reservations. <coughs> so ordered. Any other members? Moving to Stancom Report 12. Representative Capella? No vote, please. So ordered. Any members? Representative Ganadin? No vote. So ordered. Representative Peruso? Reservations. So ordered. Stancom Report 13, 14, 15, 16, se 16, Representative Perrick? Reservations, please. So ordered. Moving to Stancom Report 17. Members will be calling a voice vote. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say no. The motion is carried. Representative Nakamura. Mr. Speaker, I move to adopt standing committee report numbers 18 through 22 as listed on pages five and six, and that the accompanying house bills as amended be recommitted to the Committee on Human Services. Representative Morikawa. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Members. Please note that these are short form bills. Any discussion? Stancom report 18, 19, 20, 
21. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say no. The motion is carried. Recess. Recess. Will the House come to order? Item 6, introductions of resolutions. Mr. Clerk, are there any resolutions for action? Mr. Speaker, there are no resolutions for action. May all others be referred to print. So ordered. Announcements. Members, are there any announcements? Representative Quinlan. Mr. Speaker, may I be permitted a late introduction? So ordered. Thank you very much. In the gallery today, we have two dear friends and fierce advocates for the agricultural community, Mr. Scott Enright and Ms. Linda Rosehill. Welcome to your House of Representatives. Representative Poi Poi. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, permission to make a late introduction? Sure. Um, I just want to recognize my husband, who is sitting up there, La Poi Poi. Also, wanted to embarrass him a little bit. So, thank you. I know we're on announcements, but is there any introductions? 
All right, with no further announcements, a motion to adjourn. Representative Morikawa. Mr. Speaker, I move that this House stand adjourned until 12 o'clock noon tomorrow. Representative Garcia. Mr. Speaker, second the motion. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say no. The motion is carried. The House stands adjourned until 12 noon tomorrow. <laughs>